Uh, well, hello YouTubers. It's been a while since I made a, a video with trappers. I've been on, uh, had some health problems. I've been having problems with my kidneys. In fact, June the 19th, I go see a renal doctor. But, uh, I'm still going to try to trap. Uh, I got a job coming up next weekend. Not this weekend, but the next. On 1,400 acres up there. About 15 miles from, that, from here. And, uh, I really can't wait to get back to it. I kind of miss it. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had I was on another 1,400 acres, a hunting lease. I didn't catch but one cow for some reason or another. Well, the main reason was I, I, I couldn't keep from catching dogs. I mean, uh, dogs was bad. Uh, I caught nine dogs in one week. And uh, that, that's pretty terrible, really, to tell you the truth. Every morning I went out there, uh, there was uh, dogs running. And I'm certain they running deer. They were running all in through there. But every dog that I caught didn't have a collar. So that means you know, it just, just plain old, I think, uh, dog that just don't have a home and they're out there running. And, uh, and, and it, I, you know, I, I take the good with the bad. Uh, but last year I caught 12 coyotes off that property. This year I didn't catch but one. But come find out, uh, some of them do uh, night hunting for coyotes out there, so that could be one reason. And another reason, they coyotes are on their, uh, their breeding, and some of them already done been bred. And uh, maybe some of them even already had pups. But uh, anyway, uh, it is what it is, and I just take the good with the bad. What I was going to do is uh, talk about bait and lures. Uh, I've caught uh, 92 coyotes this year on different bait concoctions and lures, store bought bait and lures, and uh. They've done pretty well for me. I was going to show you the, my some of my best go-to stuff that I have caught my coyotes and bobcats in. Uh, I've caught also, also caught 28 bobcats here in Arkansas. Uh, you know, you can catch them and not release them. Maybe there's just a whole lot of bobcats. And the game fishing mission has allowed me to give me license year-long license to trap, to help the deer population, uh, turkey population, and quail population. In other words, you know, they want the coyotes gone plus the nest raiders. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job with that. But, uh, Anyway, I'm gonna show you some of my baits. All right. This is Top Dog Predator Bait uh, from Indiana Hoosier Supply. I'm not promoting their bait or nothing, but it has worked well for me, very well. The reason I get my bait from them is because I can buy it by the gallon. And uh, I do a lot of trapping, so a gallon uh, is really worth it. And you're getting it a lot cheaper anyway. The top dog has got a really good smell. 
it's not really offensive, but something in it is really, really has done a good number on it. And uh, let's see. Uh, here's some bait right here that I've made. Uh, it's got beaver tail oil in it and some muskrat glands. That's all it's got in it. And I've had good results on it just by putting cameras out on dirt holes. No traps, just dirt holes. And uh, I've had them dig it up. That beaver tail lord does a pretty good job. And this is some bait that I've got. I got beaver caster. Uh, let's see, beaver caster and uh, gator oil and uh, I believe it's got muskrat gland in it. It's a, it's a bobcat meat that I've ground up. <clears throat> now this is beef, uh, all beaver meat. I, I also trap beavers when I have to. Well, I started this year our hunt lease had beavers on for this, this year for the first time in years. So I, I went out to trap them and I, and I uh, got three beavers just using number three Bridger Douglas. And uh, they held pretty, they held real good. I mean, one, uh, one was a front leg catch and two was a back leg catch. But I had my, what I done, I, I had cable on my, on a big cinder, cinder block, uh, on the, on the cinder block. And I had my lock turned wrong. And, uh, when the beaver got caught, I, I made a place in the dam, a little break in their dam, and and put the trap right below it. And uh, three nights in a row, I had a beaver, but none of them drowned. I had to lock the wrong direction, so they was able to. <laughs> when I got there, they were standing there on the dam, so I had to put them down that way. But this is some of the beaver meat that I've ground up. And this has got a lot of stuff in it. It's got the smoke, smoke fragrance. It has some gator oil. I really love gator oil. Muskrat gland. And, and a torquin musk. And uh, something that I got from uh, F and T starts with a V. It's uh, I didn't buy it in the powder. I bought it in the liquid because I'd rather have it in the liquid. It's all in there. And I went check my cameras yesterday, and uh, I had two cameras out on two different dirt holes, and they was really dug dug out. So. But this seemed to be working really well. And uh, some of my lures, uh, I have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, Indiana Hoosier lures because I like their lures real well. They do good for me. Uh, the Vixen Elixir. Works real well with their top dog. And uh, I've got three ounces of that. And, uh, and believe it or not, 
I've been catching a lot of coyotes with my top dog and putting finicky feline from uh, Indiana Hoosier. Something about that finicky feline really works well for the, uh, I've caught a bobcat with it, but I also caught several coyotes using this lure. And uh, I've caught a few bobcats on this coyote carnage uh, at the good early season lure. And I've caught bobcat, I mean, a coyote on it on my homemade bait and top dog with this. And my go to lure. Won't never get get away with uh, get away from it. Uh, well, let me see. That's the wrong one. Uh, somewhere I got it. I hope there it is. <laughs> Way down in my bag here is Cavens. How uh, Cavens? Violator 7. That, to me, that is the best lure for me where I live in southwest Arkansas. You don't use much of it. You just don't use much of it. But it will draw. And it's really good on bobcats. Bobcat is prone to come with skunky smells. And uh, when I target bobcats, I do use this a lot. Another one of my main lures, it comes from my uh, Indiana Hoosiers, is black gold. It's kind of a caster bait lure. Indiana Hoosier makes it, but that's the best lure to use with top dog predator bait. It's, and it's really good. And, and, and caster is a good lure anyway, just by itself. And uh, some some oils and stuff they mixed in there with it. It's really good. <clears throat> Let's see. I've got four ounces of black gold, two ounces of finicky feline, and a. Uh, Also, I love Gusto from Cavens. I really love Gusto, but I usually put that high up on a limb, uh, especially this time of year, and it will draw them along, you know, uh, a good prevailing wind. Something about Gusto, it, it's got skunk in it, but it's also got some sweet smell to it, and it really works. <clears throat> Another one I had good, well a good look. I've caught several cows on it this year when they was breeding was a yodel dog from Cavens. It's really worked well for me. I like low distance call because I do a lot of bobcat trapping. And, uh, you know, here's some low distance call from uh, Hoosier Supply, and I've done well on it. And believe it or not, Dunlap's Hostile, host, hostile Predator Glen Lure has done well for me.
course I have my Fox P and uh, I have my I do a lot of uh, 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 hammering uh, half inch CVP pipe down down uh, down as far as I can get it it right up above my trap I, and I put lure and bait in it and it's worked well for me it really has another thing I've done real well with this year is t-bone set I had a t-bone set on that 1400 acres that I only caught two cows on and nine dogs I went back out there to pull all my traps the other day and that T-bone, uh, I mean, dug all around and I pulled it up and uh, chewed the whole top nearly off where that lure and bait was. And uh, this here is a bottle of Cabin's Hiawatha Valley Predator Bait. Uh, this is some uh, bait that I, uh, homemade bait that I've put in there. It's, uh, you got beaver tail, beaver tail or caster, muskrat gland, and uh, a little bit of oil to where it stick together. And uh, this is my best. Uh, homemade bait that I have. Like I said, I got muskrat gland in it, beaver tail oil, and castor. And then, uh, of course, I've got all in my other box. I have my one-inch auger. Uh, that one-inch auger, I've, I've had better luck with my one-inch auger than I have on my two-inch auger. I still carry my two-inch in places where I, I can dig deep. But this seems to be uh, dig uh, pretty deep just by itself. And we have real bad rocky ground here in Southwest Arkansas. I mean, real rocky. In fact, when I pulled up my traps the other day on that 1,400 acres, I broke four one-eighth cables trying to get them up. And I, and I took my one-inch auger and dug down all around it. Still, uh, I still broke them cables. So that's rocky ground. Very really rocky. Now, the place I'm going to next weekend is Bottomland. I can't wait to get to it. Man, I just can't wait. But it's still a hunting lease, and it'll have a lot of warehouser clear cuts and plantations. So I'll probably use a bunch of my drags. Uh, I use a lot of drags when I'm in clear cuts and plantations where I can save on my earth acres. Cause they really get expensive. In fact, they're, they're running around, I believe 30 something dollars for a dozen of them are uh, all bullet earth acres. And uh, so yeah, I, uh, I try to save them as much as I can. And and like I said, I just can't wait for next weekend when I start back trapping again. Uh, as y'all know by now, I do live traps, live trapping. Uh, I'm gonna catch a cow, it looks good. I'll bring it home, put it in my pen, and uh, 
I can hold up probably five coyotes at a time in there. And you can't get them to eat dog food worth a squat. So there's plenty of chicken houses around here. So they get a steady diet of chickens. And they do eat chicken real well. And uh, then what I carry with me in the back of my truck, I have a big cage that I put my coyotes in after I catch them. And I have carried five coyotes in them, bringing them back home. Five coyotes at one time in that one cage. It gets crowded, but they don't fight. But live trapping, you have to be real careful. I mean, you can get bit. I ain't never gotten bit. But it can happen. I don't want it to happen for sure. But uh, I'm real careful when I'm uh, undoing the trap. I, have, I make my own catch pole. I had a... I had a uh, that YouTube on my catch poles that I make. And uh, it don't cost about 10 bucks to make them catch poles. And they work real well. But you still gotta be careful. I mean, nine times out of 10, when you put that cable around their neck and tighten it up some, they just go limp. And uh, you hold that cable up against their neck and the ground, press it down a little bit, and then you can undo the trap. Then I, then I'll have them and, and I'll drop them down in my cage, and they're there. At one time, my uh, cable, the my. Uh, cable had uh, come loose inside my pipe and so the coyote got loose the cable come right off his neck while I was holding him up by the tail and good thing I had my son-in-law with me he uh, rushed over there with the cage while well, that coyote was really really bouncing up and down like that and I finally got him dropped down into the cage. So <laughs> there's risk in it for sure. But I'm going through a lot of health problems right now. Uh, my, you know, three years ago, I had three heart attacks, a triple bypass. And I had the heart attacks out there while I was actually undoing a cow from a trap and putting him in the cage. Now I knew that's what it was, but I went ahead and got him in the cage and put him in the back of the truck and brought him home and told my wife I need to go to the hospital. Well, I was in my trapping that year. That year. But I've, uh, I've trapped hard ever since. But uh, this been a while since I did a YouTube, so I thought I'd do one. And uh, I depend a lot on my live coyotes for money because I, I'm on Social Security. And y'all know that ain't much once a month. Plus, they fussing over how they're going to make keep Social Security without it going insolvent. Uh, Democrats and Republicans can't get together. So I'm praying that they can fix it. I really do. And you know, my wife's disabled. Six years ago, she, she had septus. She was a RN. And, and the last six years, she hadn't been able to work. She's crippled and she, we have to take her back and forth to Little Rock about once every month sometimes twice a month to see specialists up there 
And uh, a lot of my uh, money that I m make on these coyotes and my Social Security goes to diabetes medicine. And it ain't cheap. And, uh, in fact, the last two months I've lost 32 pounds. And, uh, so they try to figure out why, but I'm not going to stop trapping. Uh, I started in Beaver this year, and uh, I'm going to uh, start and keep doing uh, Beaver, trouble, troublesome Beavers, whoever can get a hold of me. I don't have but three number three bridgers, but that should be enough. I had one person to help me. Uh, to make drowning rigs, you know, uh, with cinder blocks and the cable. So I got that figured out. So, trappers, tight chain, and good luck to every one of y'all. Thumbs up, y'all behave. See y'all later. This is Gary Wooden Hunt, tra uh, trapping the Washita Hill Country. And uh, I plan on doing some more YouTube channels, I hope, by next weekend. Because I'll be out trapping. Uh, thank y'all a lot. Thumbs up.